If you've ever wondered what a professional athlete eats a day or what it's like to be a, a personal chef to a celebrity, this morning we're going to answer those questions for you. And by we, I mean our next guest. His name is Richard Ingram. He is the personal chef of Miami Heat's Dwayne Wade. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. I uh, appreciate it. Okay, and actor Gabrielle Union. Of course. Wow, that's of fantastic. Course. Now, if you can't afford a personal chef, but you want to eat like one, all you got to do is pick up his new cookbook, Eating Well to Win. That's right. The chef is in our kitchen this morning. He's going to share a recipe with us. Chef, great to see you. It's a pleasure. Uh, this is, your story is, is fascinating mm -hmm. uh, because you, first of all, to be a, a, a celebrity chef or a chef to a celebrity mm -hmm. is, it's got to be a unique path. And you started in cosmetology school? I actually did. I started off, uh, let me stir this. Yes, here, let me help, see if I can help. Yeah, so um, I actually started off in cosmetology um, where I did that for about nine years. And I actually was the stylist for Dwayne's manager. And she wasn't his manager at the time. She was about 18 years old, getting ready to go to her prom. <laughs> and um, what I did was I did her hair, and then years later came back, and she asked me if I wanted a job cooking for an NBA player, and it wound up being Dwayne. It just shows you how great relationships work. Yeah, right? yeah, you know, you've got to foster all those relationships. Now, anybody who's ever seen him on the court knows that he needs to be in peak shape all the time. That's right. So a lot of pressure on you to cook for him and to mm -hmm. cook right for him. What were some exactly. of the... So right now we're cooking a breakfast, uh, uh, something for breakfast, right? right. So what, what are we making here, and why is this something that an athlete would want to eat? Well, what we're doing right now, a lot of times, you know, you have to rush out yeah. to get ready to either go to practice, to go to work, or whatever. So you need eggs, you need vegetables, mm -hmm. but you want something easy to go. So this is an egg, a scramble, yeah. a vegetable and crab scramble with avocado toast, okay? So what we're doing now is we're adding a little salt a little cumin into our eggs, also a little bit of black pepper, mm -hmm. okay? And then we're gonna add in a small amount of heavy cream. What that heavy cream does is it kind of makes the eggs a little bit more fluffy, yeah. okay? So then we're gonna mix them up, aerate them a lot, so we can get, get a lot of air in there and get that cream and all those seasonings incorporated. And then what you have in your pan yeah. there, I got asparagus. some asparagus. All right, asparagus, yeah. red onions, and red bell pepper. It smells delicious. Okay. It really smells great. And we season that up with these same seasons. Okay. Okay. So, so then this we'll goes go in ahead. here. There you go. We'll pour that in. Do we just let it sit for a minute, or do we keep moving it around? No, you go ahead and you move it around. All right. So as you do that, then we'll add in a little bit of our crab oh, yes. as well. Okay. That changes it all up. Oh, it is. It's a game changer. Now, what happens? Because you, you're cooking for, a, a, you know, one of the best athletes on the planet, but also for his wife, who is an incredible actor in her own right. Right. Um, different diets, different dietary requirements. What do you do? Are you cooking two and meals at a time? I am cooking two different meals at a time a lot. Yeah. Now, if his kids are in town, then it becomes three different meals. Oh, boy. Because they don't want anything that they're eating. They don't want any of this. They want their own thing. So, I mean, it, be, it, beca it gets a little challenging sometimes, but that's what we're here to do, right? To meet the challenge. But you've got to be a, 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 a chef. You've got to be a nutritionist. You've got to understand the, the nutrition that you're putting in their body. How much research right. do you have to do? You do a lot. Yeah. Each and every day. Yeah, every day. Each so you're learning new day. things every day? Exactly. I, I go and get uh, different periodicals, and I read them. I'm, in, I'm one of those great. guys that's in the grocery store, and I'm actually, like, reading the books <laughs> as, I'm trying to, uh, as I'm trying to check out. So now what we did is we cut our avocado, okay? We took our spoon and we uh -huh. scooped it out so that we could have a nice form because presentation is everything. You know we eat with our eyes. Front yeah, front of course. Front. God, this so good. then once we do that, we'll take our avocado and we'll just simply lay it on our toast, just like so. Oh, this starts smelling, oh, it smells good. Uh -huh. how, um, how diligent is Dwayne Wade when he eats? I mean, does he have a, does he have a cheat day? Uh, if Dwayne had his choice, he'd have a cheat month. <laughs> so it's really up to me at this point to make sure that he stays on schedule. So I try to make sure that I keep him in line as much as possible. And I got to ask, uh, different times of year, mm -hmm. uh, different requirements. I mean, when he's in the playoffs, does he have to eat different things when he's training to get to a start lot the of times, A lot of times I switch it up. Yeah. Um, when we're getting ready to get into the playoffs, I get a little bit more uh, strategic with what I'm doing with the carbohydrates, what type of protein I give them, and things like that. All right, we only have a little bit of time All left, right. so I'm guessing so now, this ends up. This is what we're gonna do. Here, go yeah. ahead and put that down, and I'm gonna help you Did I you do out. okay there, Chef? Listen, you did wonderful. Thank you. It looked like you're trying to take my job is what <laughs> you're trying to do. So let's go over here. Yeah. So we'll come over, and we'll take our spoon, and we'll spoon just a little bit of that right over the top. It smells so good. Uh-huh, okay, and you cooked them perfectly. Oh. They're not overdone or anything, okay? So, and it's perfectly fine that it runs over like yep. that. 
and you take oh, a little bit of sriracha. You gotta have a little bit of hot sauce. You gotta have a little bit of that, and you gotta open it up first, right? <laughs> and then, bam, look at that. That looks gorgeous. It's gorgeous. And it's there you are, right? Thank you, Chef. What about this over here? Wonderful job. More, so chicken, what, protein, more protein? Exactly. You got chicken thighs here, and what we do is a stew chicken thighs yeah. with garbanzo beans. Garbanzo beans are a great source of protein. The chicken thighs, oh, you can do it here. with the chicken. Well, that, that sauce comes from uh, tomato paste. Mm -hmm. It comes from uh, fire roasted tomatoes, and we put all of that in together with a little bit of broth, and we saute the, uh, we brown that chicken, and we get all of that flavor in there, and there you go. Well, let me tell you, if, the, if this is sampling what's in the book, I'm gonna be picking up this book immediately. Well, you Chef. need to pick that up. Hey, thank you so much. You can find today's recipes on our website, yourmorning.ca.